Give me a minute and let's talk about Russia on fire. And for the first time, what we're seeing is a strike against an oil pipeline. What, according to the GR, GUR, uh, or the Ukrainian Military Intelligence Directorate, in a joint operation in the early morning hours today, April 6th of 2024, a drone struck an oil pipeline that services the Azov seaport. And according to them, the, refu- the reloading of tankers has been indefinitely uh, suspended because the oil pipeline is out. Now, that's what they're saying, but it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The port of Azov, or the Azov seaport rather, is on a river. It's not on the Sea of Azov. It's not on the Black Sea. And it is not an oil tanker refilling station. It's not what it is. It's a a port where coal, principally coal, gets loaded onto cargo ships. Uh, Steel is another big commodity, other metal ores and grain. Not oil. It's in the river. I don't know that it's even deep enough for oil tankers to go up that river. That, the tankers get refilled out on the Black Sea in Novorossiysk and uh, the CPC terminal. However, every port like this has to have a refueling station. So it's my guess, and and I want to point out that we are strictly in the realm of speculation here. It is my guess that what we're seeing is just how smart, patient, and calculating the folks on the Ukrainian side of this war are. They know that if they hit oil pipelines and stop the export of crude oil from Russia, that global prices are going to spike, they're going to take the blame, it's going to be bad for everybody. So rather than striking one of the actual pipelines for oil export, it appears that what they have done is strike a, a pipeline that likely carries a heavy fuel oil or bunker fuel that's used to power cargo ships. And so now ships can't refuel at this port, which is going to be a problem for them, right? It's going to interrupt trade there. It's going to, it's going to be a problem. If you ordered steel from Russia, you might have to wait a few months now. Their grain exports are going to suffer that come out of that port, etc. But not crude oil. Smart. Smart. If I'm right. If I'm right. What, what does this tell us? It tells us that what the point of this strike really was, was to put Moscow on notice. The other pipelines, they're just as easy targets. They're just as easy targets. Ukraine can shut down the refilling of oil tankers in the Black Sea anytime they want, Moscow. Do you hear that? They can cut off your life's blood anytime they want. Now, we've talked about the fact that the hits on oil refineries won't affect the price of gasoline worldwide. And the reason for that is because Russia had already announced an export ban of refined oil products. So Ukraine can, and so those prices are already factored into the market, right? The lack of that Russian supply is already factored into the market. You can't affect the price of gas by taking out every refinery in Russia. Which I would think the Ukrainians are going to continue to do. 
but you start hitting oil export pipelines, that would hurt Russia the most, no doubt about it, but it has the potential for backlash from your international partners. And so I think that what we're seeing here is a calculated move to put Moscow on and the world on notice. Personally, I don't give a fuck. If Kiev wants to hit those export pipelines, I think they should. I think they should. And I'll tell you why. Because right now, OPEC Plus has uh, reduced the amount of oil that they're producing. I guarantee you, if Russian oil supplies fail and they can't get the oil out, yeah, there'll be a short-term price increase. And you know what the Saudis will do immediately? Is up production. They'll up production immediately. They will stab their BRICS brothers in the back and take the cash. So I, I'm not worried about it. I'm not at all. I think, I think the Ukrainians should strike they should shut down the refilling of oil tankers in the Black Sea, shut it down, shut it down now, and cut off Moscow's lifeblood. This puts everybody on notice that they can.